What's the matter, huh? The matter is that your spying days are over as of now. <laughs> Mr. Young, excuse the delay. I've asked you to come here because of the high amount of opium that's eluding us. We're up against real pros, if you ask me. I'd say they're supplying half the world by now. Until five days ago, we had a man named Spade working undercover on it. His cover was blown to pieces. Now he's dead. That's why I wanted you to come in. You're going to take over his job. Listen, Young, I want this ring smashed. And I don't care how the hell you do it. Just do it. Don't worry, sir. I will. Yes? Good morning, sir. Well, Cow, this is Mr. Young. Uh, how do you do? Cow's one of our new agents yet. Very efficient. A pleasure, Mr. Young. I've heard a lot of good things about you, sir. This young man's assigned to collaborate with you. Here's some money. You find it'll come in handy. Here. And here are your tickets, train and boat. These are special courier visas, so take care of them. This camera belonged to uh, Spade, the agent I told you about. He took some interesting pictures with it. You should find them helpful. That's him. You won't have much time, so study these closely on the train. Good luck.
<laughs> Who are you, pal? You're under arrest. Police. <laughs> yeah, special branch. We finally caught you, Rocco. Caught you red-handed. That case will put you in jail a long while. Huh? I don't really believe you. No? No. I'd take a bet on it any day of the week. Huh. Calling me a liar? All right, where's your credentials? Uh, credentials, copper. Hmm. Special branch, huh? You know what I think? <laughs> I think you're just a hired hand. One of Mr. Quang's stooges. It's just the kind of stunt that his gang would pull. <laughs> yes? You're pretty intelligent for a man that just got caught with a good friend. <laughs> now, you listen. Tashan is running this town. And if you butt in, he'll have your head. <laughs> you tell Mr. Quang that it better not interfere. I'm not scared of Sean. He's getting a little too old anyway. The man ought to retire. He's cutting the independent dealers out of the whole works. We want more of the action, you hear? Quang may be afraid of him, but I'm not. Now listen, mister. Walk on out. You see, your mistake was to walk in this joint. Now let's just see how you go out. Why don't you give us that small bag you're holding? We'll work out a little deal, huh? Just you and me and Tashan won't know anything. <laughs> if I did that, I wouldn't last two seconds. If you want that satchel, just come and get it. Damn bastard! I'm sick and tired of kidding around with you this way! Wally! <laughs>
You should have stayed in a little league. a lot. <laughs> you know what? You look familiar, you know that? <laughs> Very familiar. Sorry, you got the wrong guy. Uh, recognize him? Never saw him before. Interesting. Somebody has gone to a great deal of trouble, and I want to know who it is. Does anybody have an idea? I'm waiting. <laughs> well, Chief, there's Mr. Quang. This looks like his work. He's given us trouble once before, and he's been talking. Uh, could I uh, take care of him? You think it's Mr. Quang, eh? <laughs> well, he has good reasons. The organization is too much for our Quang. He's just another independent getting pushed out. And he resents it a lot more than the others, Tashan. He's what I'd call a, you know, a holdout. And he's talking about starting his own organization. And he's interested about half the independent dealers in town in the idea. Me? Yes? I leave this in your hands. You are to bring him here. I want you to go now and take Alex with you. I understand.
enjoy your stay with us, gentlemen. Thanks. Man, I could show you some shed eye. Cow. It's better I rest, and tomorrow we'll get an early start, okay? Right. Following the original plan? Uh-huh. I told that idiot it was a bad idea. But he wouldn't listen to me. So he died instead. That makes things a little ticklish for you. He killed one of Mr. Tashan's men, Quang. So things are even now, that's all. It wasn't the best way. Excuse me, sir. Huh? Alex Tizer is waiting outside. Very well. Quang? Oh, your sister is hard at work, I see. Hello. <laughs> you ought to sit down, Alex. You look a bit tired. <laughs> okay. You're uh, so very kind. Thank you. Mm. We have a little talking to do. Ah. Is it business? Yes, yeah, business. I've, uh, I've been sent to see you. Well, actually, it's this way. You see, Mr. Tashan has invited you to see him. <laughs> Immediately? That is, if you wouldn't mind. We have a car right outside. Let's go. I don't think you should see Mr. Shan. Quang, it could be dangerous. <laughs> Leave it to me, don't worry. If he wants war, I'm ready. Rocco was killed today. And his bag was cleaned out. We think you know who's responsible. Yes. I know it was Chang who is no longer with us, Mr. Lee. I came to apologize. <laughs> Have you come to do more than apologize? That depends. I'm sure you listen to reason. I could always compensate. Compensate? <laughs> and do you realize how much is lost? It was full of opium and now it's gone. Just like that. Compensate. I think our boss, Tashan, would like you to be more specific, if you know what I mean.
my respects. Any further doubts? You take him home. Yes, sir. No. I'll manage it alone, thank you. Guys, take a good look and see if you know anyone, Cal. They're just standing still. It's a cinch. Something is in the wind there. I think the answer is in those two cars. Mr. Quang? I have. Listen, I've just seen Quang. He's still around. You can do better than that, can't you? Well, that sure looks like they're number one. It does look like our boy, all right. Now, all we gotta do is... They're up to now. I'm going after that car. You stay here and keep your eyes open, all right? Right on.
Ask Mr. San to come out. Yes, sir. Mr. San, Mr. Ting would like to talk with you. All right. Did you come across anything? Mm -hmm. Got an address. Huh? A gambling joint. Where in the world did you get a hold of this, Cal? I just followed the other car. Huh. We'd better get in it tomorrow. All right. Documents. Certainly. Yes, what is it? I'd like to see Mr. Ting. What for? A little business matter. A business matter, huh? Well, I'm sorry he left last night and hasn't come back yet. Oh. Where did he go? Mm, I don't know. Mr. Ting. Mr. Ting. What is it? You have a visitor, sir. Yes, who is it? Uh... Excuse me. I didn't think you'd be at home. You're pretty funny, huh? Who are you? Charles Young. That's who. Ah, is that right? And just how may I help you? Well, Mr. Young? It's a business matter. A business matter? Exactly. Exactly? <laughs> ah, yes, of course. I think that business could be examined elsewhere. Do you know the port? Yes. Down on Pier 2, there's an old warehouse where I will see you in an hour. An hour? <laughs> Attaboy. <laughs> didn't you tell him he couldn't come in? I tried to, but he didn't listen. He did this. How many are there? Only two. Two? I shall deal with those two. Bring Soyu and Roy Tai here. They have some work to do. I'll return in a couple of hours. And don't let anyone else in while I'm gone, understand? Go. Yes, sir. Now let's talk about business. Go ahead. Mr. Young, do you realize what my business is? Certainly, you're a dealer. Oh, opium. And may I ask who told you? It's essential that I know. This guy. You know the man. Oh, a 
special agent. I see. That's what you are. Bullseye. You win a cigar, though you're all through smuggling any more opium across the border, Mr. Ting. Come on. I find you boring. Now you take this guy. Why didn't he just go home? But he didn't, you see. Because he was as stupid as you are. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, you'll have to leave. We're closing up now. Two pair, Queens and Nines. Thank you very much. Three of a kind. You're wanted in the next You don't time. mind if we play for a while, huh? Go right ahead. A little two headed poker. All right. Get him out. Ting. Oh, he died right away. Kill him.
Excuse me, Mr. Shan. The police are already aware of Mr. Ting's death. They've begun their investigation of it. They say it could take a long time. Mm, thank you very much. Good thinking. However, in the future, we must guard against mistakes like this. They must never happen again. It is indeed lucky, however that Mr. Ting's death is irrelevant. Yes, Mr. Shan. I've got to get going. Come on with us. No, I've got a date with a cute little you-know-what. <laughs> Sign language, huh, yeah. man? Gotcha. <laughs> get him. <laughs> Thank you. 
you want. A massage? Good, give me one. I think I'm made of anyway. Easy. Easy. Hmm. Ah, that's better. You're next. When do you get off? The rocking horse. In an hour. <laughs> Good, I'll buy you a drink. This young man is tired. You'll do us a chair. Okay. On your way. Get down. You're down. Hmm? Halt! Stop! Hold, I said! Damn it! Damn it, you! <laughs> Am 
my little lotus blossom. Go on, you can go home now. Why are you butting in? Hmm. It looks kind of bad out. You might catch a little cold. I'll make you eat those words. Ready, huh? Uh, a couple of more strokes ought to do it. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It looks good enough to eat. Mm -hmm. Sure does. Mm -hmm. That is the general idea. Yes, sir. Uh, hold it. Huh? I won't eat yet. You see, when I eat dinner, I don't want any intruders around. Please don't kill me. That's quite a big hall. Let's go. Hmm. Continue. Uh -huh. You've been hard at work. <laughs> Is the chief back yet? No, he hasn't come back yet. Get out of the way! Go on! You deaf? Get out of my way! You, you bastard! Uh, uh, uh. Just what do you think you're doing? Taking it away.
Where's Mr. Lee? He's dead. Get him out of here, Wang. Yes, sir. Cable this to Mr. Sean right away. Yes, sir. It's a long while, and now we shall make up for it. Is that you, Uncle? Who is this? It's your nephew, Alex. I'm calling you from Mr. Sean's. Alex, uh -huh. my boy. How are you? Well, not too well, Uncle. The situation was pretty bad over here. What situation? It's... Well, you see, there's two new agents in town who are going around killing all our men off left and right. Mr. Sean isn't here. So I was put in charge, but the whole thing's coming apart. I, I, I just can't see here any longer. I want to come to your house. For how long, Alex? Huh? Well, just till Sean returns, huh? P please, Uncle? Nicely done. Thank you. 
When are you returning? Uh, too soon, I'm sorry to say. Captain. Cable, sir. Mr. Tashan. Cable for you, sir. Excuse me. Was there something you wanted? Get your boss out here. Uh, didn't you know that Mr. Shan... He said he wouldn't be gone too long. He went into... Uh, into Shanghai. Into Shanghai? I saw you out there today running through the bushes. <laughs> How do you belong in this group? Uh, I just worked here, sir. Uh, as you can uh, see, I was just quitting. Well, I've got to go. I'm sorry. Goodbye. You'll uh, forgive me, of course. Bring your boss here, and right away. You w want me to call the... Uh, he stepped out. Oh, we could telephone. Uh, don't go away. Hello, Wang. Yeah. Uh, look, this is Jimmy, Wang. Uh, there's a visitor here that... Uh, well, hello, Wang. Wang? Wang? Yeah! <laughs> 
You wish to see me, I gather. That's right. Who are you, sir? An agent. Oh. I see, I see. We do not come under your jurisdiction. This place, you see, is right in the border. Sure, only that your boundary line is our border, too, you know. Oh. I'm glad you enlightened me. Why not give up? You'll save us a whole lot of trouble. Hmm? <laughs> You're pretty funny, really. You realize you're about to die. Oh, it's a shame. But you are brave. <laughs> you know your brain's going to atrophy using that opium? Oh, yeah, it's about gone now, only you don't realize it. Hey! <laughs> 